All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So it's time to give you a walkthrough of Samsung's menu. Now, you probably heard me say in the um, unboxing video on the black version that I had been playing with the my wife's phone in the blue one, and I'm playing with the menu, and I didn't really like it. And I said, you know, they're, they're kind of burying away things that should make it really easy. Well, let me walk you through this menu. I'll give you a full walkthrough. Pretty, pretty lengthy video. Hopefully, it's not too lengthy. Um, but um, I want you to see everything that's in this menu. So you can clearly see now how the menu is set up. So at the top here you have connections. You can see everything here. There you go. Pretty simple, right? Uh, next you have sounds. You can kind of see how everything's set up here. And you can go into quality of sounds. This is where you can get to your equalizer at. Some people probably didn't know about that. You also have adoptive sound where you can set up the sound how you want it to be for your ears when you plug in headphones. Um, let's go back. You can change where you want vibration and things like that. Touch screen, you know, vibration, all kinds of things like that. So next, let's go into uh, notifications. And here's where you can block notifications for all the applications uh, on your phone. Uh, and then you have the do not disturb indicator down here and you've got LED indicator down here and notification reminder down here. You see at the bottom of the menus now, this is what they've done. They put this option in here looking for something else. Now that wasn't there before, but if you click on um, LED indicator, let's just click on that. It takes you here. So it's, it's just kind of weird, um, you know, I don't know, um, the, the way they did this, they kind of made things a little bit more difficult by, I guess they were trying to make room for their new menu style, but to me, it kind of complicates things, because if you click on that, then you go into here, then there's another one down here, but let's go back. So you can see what happens, and you'll see on the menu here, they have all these things that says, um, you know, looking for something else. And it's kind of like what they did was they took the old stuff that people use regularly and crammed it at the bottom, pretty much, just from what I could tell. And see, so if I go here, I'm back here, and there's another looking for something else. So it's not a good or a bad thing. I just personally don't, I'm not really feeling this new setup because it's too much. You know, it's, um, it's too much. So this I actually do like. You can see wallpapers. You can swipe over and see the things. And then you can see icons. You can do actually icon packs and everything. So this is really, really nice. I like how they did this portion of it. Very intuitive, very easy to understand. Uh, so next, let's go down here. And some of these things become redundant because if you click on one thing, it can be in another menu um, when, you're, when, you're, when you choose at the bottom looking for something else. You can see down there, uh, but this is just a. I guess this won't be a very long video. You can go to advanced settings, and then first you'll get up to the S Pen. And you can see this is how I currently have mine set up. I didn't pull the S Pen out yet, but uh, you can clearly see how this is set up for me. And you can do the detachment. You can create a note if you detach it, or you can do Air Command. Most people you could have it none. Most people will probably leave that on Air Command, but let's click on Air Command, and then let's click here. And you can see this is how it's now set up. I really like these, the way Air Command, or when you change things, I really like the way that's set up. And you can put anything over there now. You know, it's, it's really good. So let's back out of here. And then here's more S Pen functionality. And then here's where some more settings are for the advanced features. I turn a lot of this stuff off because, you know, and some people might say, well, I actually like that. I like that they have the things at the bottom saying, but I just think it's going to take me some getting used to uh, this right here, this new thing that they have going on with their new menu style. And I made a video recently, well, it was the unboxing video, and, and I commented in that video. Somebody commented on that video and said, hey, you know, I understand what you're saying. You know, yeah. Uh, but this is how they have this set up. So if, you, if you're a person who wanted to hurry up and get into battery usage, you have to go here. Uh, you have to click on that. Let's go back out, show you what you have to do. You have to go to device maintenance, then you have to go to battery, then you have to go to battery usage. This is what you have to do just to get to your screen on time. So that's something that, 
you know, was real fast before, now it's not. It's, it's several steps to do it. On the other, on my other Samsung phones, I just swipe down from the top, press battery, and boom, it's done. Yeah. So, that's how that's done now. <laughs> and your security and everything is in here too. Device security, it's all in here too. So, they kind of got it, um, or I guess I can show you the storage too. They kind of got it like this now. They're, you know. And the, the crazy part about this is the system uses... 16 gigs slash user data and then it's got 11 gigs of unnecessary data and i, I can guarantee you that unnecessary data is probably like my applications or something <laughs> you know because they feel like they're you've got spam or something in there and they want to get rid of it for you but that's kind of weird to me because these phones are set up around applications nonetheless you've got your apps and permissions and I think I'm just kind of used to the top, what would it be at the top? That's kind of what I'm used to. But, you know, here's the applications. There you go. I got some disabled, enabled. And then you've got your lock and security. You know, this is just how it is, you know, set up kind of basic. Uh, see, this is the menu style, I guess, is what I'm looking for. I mean, but I think change. Change is good sometimes, so you have to adopt to it. Uh, you have to adapt to it and, and you have to make sure that you are able to get on board because companies aren't going to listen to you. When they think they've got a great new design, they're not really probably going to pay attention to you and revamp it after they put out their product. They probably could with a software update, but are they really going to do that? Probably not. But as you can see here again, once again at the bottom, if you were looking to find out how to reset your device, this is where you'll find it at. And they've got another shortcut to device security down here. And I've already seen that on another screen. But you've got your backup and reset down there and then location down here as well. Again, it's pretty cool at first, but if I want to get in somewhere really, really fast, you know, I kind of like, what? So, then you've got your Google settings, your accessibility, your vision, your hearing, uh, dexterity, interaction, direction unlock. Did you guys know about direction unlock? It's on other phones, too. Um, I don't use this, uh, but it's a very cool Look into your phone and check this feature out and play with it. I think you'll be pretty surprised at uh, what you get there. It's really nice. Then you've got single tap mode, answering in calls. And then once again at the bottom, you've got looking for something else. Yeah. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments how you feel about that looking for something else. And then you've got general management, which is just a software. And, you know, that that's it. So... Um, that's it. And then you've got help, but this is a, a walkthrough of their, um, their menu. And now let's go through the S pen. Now the S pen here, I have it set up like this. I added internet down here. Cause someone told me you should use the internet browser on, um, the, their internet browser opposed to Chrome because you can do ad blocks and things like that. So I said, okay, well I'll check it out. So I put it in there. But you've just got your create a note, smart select. You know, I can change this for what I want. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to slide over my edge window because I've got some personal things in there. Uh, but the S Pen is pretty simple, man. I mean, nothing nothing fancy about this going on right here. Uh, I went into here earlier. As you can see, that's in the menus too. But I guess they, they kind of put it in several places for people who, you know, might not know, <laughs> you know. Uh, but nonetheless, that is just a quick walkthrough of Samsung's menu. And um, I'll bring you more videos uh, on that, uh, on this device. Again, you know how it is when I get a device. I start it up and I'll, I'll push out several videos in the first two or three days or so that I can actually push out this, you know, that I can actually get done. That's legitimate. I feel like people have asked me for it and I'm going to put it out. So the squeaking you hear is my chair rolling around. Uh, but yeah. There it is, man. So this is the complete new menu from Samsung. You know, it looks pretty cool at first glance, but when you get into it, you know, I start to think, wow, what I was looking for something is what it was. And I saw this at the bottom looking for something else. And I was like, what the heck? What is it doing way down there? And there are some redundancies in here where the same thing comes up. You click on something on one screen and it's actually out here somewhere. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, it's all good. So quick walkthrough of Samsung's menu, their new TouchWiz menu. 
What do you guys think about the new TouchWiz menu? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, I shouldn't say hate. Do you dislike it? Um, you know, what do you think about it? Let's talk about it in the comments. This is your man, Jay Will. I'll see you in the next one.